Hello, this is Finders, and I'm going to do a guide slash playthrough uh, or talk through of Dwarf Fortress. Um, Dwarf Fortress, uh, the, the the game is actually there are two different games inside it, but I'm only going to to play the fort mode, and that's probably the original mode and the mode most people mention when they play Dwarf Fortress. You get to our fortress on the website. Uh, I think I'm going to make a link down under my uh, this clip so where you can find it. And I'm also going to make a link where you can find Lazy New Pack. A Lazy New Pack is a collection of mods and uh, programs that make it a lot easier to run our fortress. Uh, among these is a graphic pack that makes it a lot easier to play it for a longer while since all the graphics are made in ASCII. Uh, everything is represented by symbols, that is. Symbols like you see here in, in the background. If you play with it, that original setting you will get very tired in the eyes very, very quickly I think. So uh, I wouldn't recommend it. It's better to to install graphics and I will show you how. The first thing you will do is to download Lace New Pack because you don't really have to download Dwarf Fortress because Lace New Pack has everything inside it. I think that in the current version on Lace New Pack, uh, it's not the, the latest version of Dwarf Fortress, and that's because it, a new version has just been released and uh, he, he's doing like patches every day on it like you can see here it's uh, thir 34.00 but the latest version here is 0.04 what you can do is uh, download latest new pack and inside latest new pack there's, there's uh, the map with Dwarf Fortress and you can just download the uh, Dwarf Fortress here and uh, just overwrite the the version in Lace New Pack. Uh, I did it and it seemed to work for me without any problems whatsoever. Probably because there's so little difference between the versions. Mm. When you got Lace New Pack and you run it, you're not going to run Dwarf Fortress, you're going to run Lace New Pack. It's going to look, look like this this is the start out thing you're going to play from and uh, the first thing you should do is install a graphics pack I'm going to play with the Mayday um, the others are just as good but but if you're if you want to play with a setting that's close to mine install Mayday just click on Mayday like this and then install graphics And there, you got the new graphic settings. As easy as that. Uh, next thing, I'm probably going to... Utilities I will show inside the game, I think. Advanced. I don't want to have sound, maybe you want it. I think there's only a background sound. But I don't want to have the intro mode movie. I can see that some of you probably would like. Uh, but I've seen both, uh, the, both the movie and heard the music for so long that I, I, I'm not bothered about it. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to hear it. Uh, FPS counter, I think I want. I want auto save. I want to auto save pause, and I want to have auto backer. It's good to have auto save if you do some stupid mistake like uh, uh, break mandate or something. I'll explain all those later in the game. Um, let's see now. And now you want to change the settings here. These will have some of them at least will have a huge impact on the game. It's important that you install the graphics first and then change the settings here because as you install the the graphics, the settings here will probably change. At least they did for me. Um, I'm going to play with an economy I think I'm not sure that it works though 
I think it's off in the game currently. I don't know. Temperature you want, weather you want, cave-ins, it's part of the original game you want. Uh, it's pretty easy to explain this. Cave-ins is just when you dig a uh, dig a uh, very big cave and you don't have any support and the roof falls in on the dwarves or uh, just falls in. I want invaders and this you could turn this off for your first game if you want but uh, I prefer to play with invaders since it's a lot more fun I think. Part of the fun in this game is actually dying uh, and beating forces that, that that can kill you and if you turn off invaders you will not get uh, forgotten beasts and uh, goblin sieges and ambushes and such which which is part of the game I would probably decrease my population cap to 150 because I never seem to use or I, I, I seem to have a problem finding a, a good use for the last 50 dwarves and we will probably get more than 150 in the end anyway Child cap is good. Uh, aquifiers. I personally don't play with aquifiers, and that's because I think the aquifier aquifiers are really annoying. And also, for or almost all my games, I've chosen locations even with aquifiers on that has no aquifiers, which means that I won't run into them until very late, uh, and by then. I will have other problems to worry about that are much more fine in my, fun in my opinion. So turn that off. I recommend that you do the same for your first game. Uh, because aquifiers can be really annoying you have lo loads of other things to learn about. Mm. Exotic animals. In the game you originally had a person called a dungeon master later on and he could tame ex all the exotic animals like like uh, the, the the strange new animals that are in their fortress like like I don't know maybe you can tame unicorns I'm not sure stuff like that but the, dwa the, the dungeon master is currently not in the game which means you can only tame the normal uh, animals like dogs cats cows and stuff like that. Like I'm not sure if you can tame elephants. You probably can, but I I I will have exotic animals on because that's the original setting. Uh, I'm not sure what key bindings are because I think you can install one of these if you run in the game on uh, on a laptop. Because in War Fortress you use the num keys on the right side. That one is the ones that are placed exactly like a phone and uh, uh, commands around them almost all the time. But on laptops, you usually don't have those keys, which means that probably you can install one of these. I'm not sure, I haven't used them. I just heard about that's how they work. I think this is all. I will see you, I will do the next clip inside the game, I think, or just starting it.